welcome uh, to Five Minutes with uh, Kyle and Alex. Uh, Kyle, the condo millionaire. Uh, I'm broker owner of Remax Wealth Builders Real Estate, and we are serious real estate investors. Uh, our combined portfolios are, are worth well over uh, $20 million. And we just like to take these five minutes every week and just talk to you about what's going on in the market and, and what we see and everything like that. And Kyle, we had some big news come down the pipeline. Uh, what uh, what caught your attention this week? Uh, it's really the government trying to uh, impact affordability for home buyers. And we have seen a lot of programs, new programs, changes to programs, cancellation of programs, and changes to different laws very recently. Uh, the first one was they have extended the amortization period for mortgages, which sounds good. However, it's kind of restrictive because it only applies to CHMC insured mortgages, which are those purchased with less than a 20% deposit. And... <laughs> The, the rules here, uh, typically it was up to 25 years before, and now they've extended that to 30 years, but only when you're purchasing new builds, new homes, brand new construction. So this was something that was already available for non-insured mortgages. So really they've leveled the playing field here, but Alex, do you think this is actually going to impact affordability for people out there? Uh, no, it, maybe in some areas in the country, but not not with, definitely not within the greater zero percent chance in the, the greater Toronto area. Um, one thing that they don't talk about in that announcement is that you're capped for that CMHC insured mortgage uh, at uh, nine hundred and ninety nine thousand dollars nine hundred. If you go to a million dollars, you have to have to put twenty percent down. Um, you're not going to be able to get an insured mortgage, anyways. And and even on top of that, when you start looking at uh, at the mortgage cost, when you start going over a million dollars. Kind of want to put twenty percent down, um, so that, that gets it gets cost, cost prohibitive, and you're not allowed. So, and new build is more expensive than uh, your your resale property. It, the The replacement cost is greater. It's it's with inflation and everything very expensive to to build new build. So it begs the question: um, Are you able to actually transact with this and find the properties under a million dollars within the GTA that can participate in this. And, and really you're, you're limited to one bedroom condos, um, pushing it on the two, be two bedroom side, side, three, uh, three bedroom, you're, you're most likely over a million. So it, it's a very limited pool. that will be able to, to participate uh, in this. Now, other areas of the country will help like Calgary. I would say it, it, that's positive for Calgary because our freehold product in Calgary is, Starting in the 500s, um, we, we can easily find you. So there'll be impacts in in Canada for sure that I do see some positive outlook. Um, so I think if we look at the across the product in Calgary, it will have a positive impact on that and push prices higher in Calgary. But it has a zero impact on the GTA because you literally can't do it within the current rules. Um, even with the new rules, it doesn't work because the price points are too high. Yeah, and even extending that amortization, it's only five years. It's going to affect the payments, you know, maybe a couple hundred dollars. So it's not going to significantly move the needle for a lot of people. It might help a few people out there. Yeah, um, the people that another, help are the people that don't have the down payment. But the thing is, the you're going to need twenty percent of the GT anyway. So. So in terms of helping with that down payment, they also announced that they're going to expand the RRSPs. You typically are able to use your RRSPs as a first time home buyer. That limit previously was 35,000. That, uh, that is now being increased to 60,000, an increase of $25,000. And and they they increase it they increase the time that you actually have the ability to pay that back. Um that that's a win across the board for me. Uh, I don't see that that that's a that that's a huge positive. What about you, Kyle? Yeah, this is a program that I actually personally used Same. the first time I bought a property. So it's very helpful. But once you start getting up into significant dollar amounts, I start to question, oh, how many people have 60,000 sitting in their RSPs, especially young kids or young people um, that, that can afford that? Oh, yeah, so it, 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 it takes it take the second job. Uh, go 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 find ways to to work hard that kind of stuff. Yeah, they 
Again, it is a money-based issue where you're getting the down payment from, but I do applaud them for having that put in place where they uh, people can have a, a tax account. Then you also have the first time home buyer savings account as well. I'd say they they are doing good things in that way from from a savings perspective to to help in, encourage home ownership. But where they did do some discouraging is on the tax side. Um, and really now what they've done is they, with their new uh, punitive capital gains uh, tax increase on that, uh, they've really discouraged investment, significantly discouraged investment. Um, so what they've done is they've increased the capital gains exemption um, from, you could usually, you could, uh, you'd only have to take 50% into your income. Uh, previously, now it's 667 percent you have to take in into the income. On the personal side, um, you do have up to 250,000 if your cap gain is above 250,000 and you're 66.7. But if you're owning your properties in um in corporations, like I do, uh there isn't that 250,000 exemption limit. So it's actually discouraging people from investing in real estate. And it's going to have wide ranging effects. Now they they paint it as it's only going to impact 0.13% of the population. But you really need to look at it for anyone that um, has property that's going to be being passed down. Uh, there's capital gains when you when, when there's estate sales, when there's property being passed through family members. Now they've increased the tax on that because that would have fell into the capital gains before. So it may only be 0.13 is the way they are looking at it. But it's going to impact way more than 0.13% of the population. It's just 0.13% of the population in maybe that year, but it's going to touch everyone um, significantly. I shouldn't say everyone, but it's going to touch a much, much larger uh, part of the population. Um, and again, it discourages investment. So we're, we talk about this in real estate side. So you need more, you need to build more homes. So you need more investment at homes, but now you penalize us on tax taxes from investing in real estate because you're going to you're going to charge us more for 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 our gains so you're making it less tax efficient for us to invest invest in real estate but Kyle and I were talking before Kyle how does this impact innovation in other companies so we 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 talk about real estate side but let, let's talk about because it's capital gains which impacts stocks and all investments so let's talk about that a little more yeah, and small business owners that grow their companies and then end up selling them, that is a capital gain. <laughs> and that is going to be impacted by these rules and by the extra taxation. So in a time where we need increases in productivity, we need innovation, we need new technology, the government is actively discouraging that with this form of taxation. Yeah, one, 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 100%. And that's what a cap gain is. The capital gain exemption is to encourage investment so that you invest in things they go up in value you get a return on that so you want to encourage investment to increase productivity i can go on a huge tangent in regards to why we need increases in productivity and declining birth rates and, and populations and workforce populations and tax bases but that's a 45 minute video which i will not get it get it today <laughs> Uh, but let's just talk about AI. If, if you were to, uh, for example, invest in an, an AI company and, and you were to see a, a big return on that, they shouldn't say personal, but but any corporation or company and all that kind of stuff, you're going to be penalized in that significantly for, it's, it's a 16.6% increase in, 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 the, in, in your tax. So it, it's, it's significant. So um, it's not good. It's not good at all. Uh, and I'll have a, a longer form video breaking out why it's not good. Um, and just how it's going to impact on the long run, um, innovation and investment and, and everything like that. So there are some positives, as we said, in regards to them increasing our RSP, uh, ability to withdraw and to invest in housing. Um, there are some positives in regards to the am amortization limits. It's just not going to have any impact in the GTA, but it will have a positive impact, uh, in, in Calgary. Um, so we expect that to increased pricing in Calgary because it can make it more um, open up investment to more people in Calgary because that it does you can buy new builds at that price point. Um, and, but the taxes are bad. So that's that's our quick five minutes and it was over five minutes. Uh, quick five plus minutes on on what we saw this week in the federal budget. Uh, but it was a lot. It was a lot. 
then we we have strong strong opinions on that so if you want to chat more about that and how it's going to impact you and how you can take a take advantage of some of these positive situations reach out we're happy to chat send us a dm uh email us call us text us we're happy to chat so alex wilson kyle davigi okay guys talk to you later <laughs> bye 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 for now